Hello Live Wires! Welcome to day one of the 10 day wire tree making challenge. Today's project was inspired by a collection I made in 1990 for the National Gallery of Canada. They were having an exhibition of work of iconic Canadian artist Emily Carr. I used some of the imagery from her paintings to create a collection of earrings. So the one we're going to focus on today is the tree, very typical of her style. I also had done a church, totem pole, and the iconic raven. In 2007, the Musée de Beaux-Arts in Montreal had an exhibition of Emily Carr work as well, and so I revisited the designs and made a collection of necklaces uh, with the same types of designs. So here's the tree here, and we are going to do something similar with a couple of other variations today. So I'm going to take two pieces of 20 gauge wire that are about 8 inches long. You can cut them longer or shorter depending on how big you want your earrings. So we're going to hold them together. We're going to do two at once and we're going to bend that one straight up and then just give it a little smooth uh, with our finger. We'll hold it a little further down to decide on the width of the trunk and then we're going to bend that one up and the same thing we can just go around to do the starting point of the trunk. You can use wider chain nose pliers, whatever is easiest for you. So we just want to give it a little bit of a curve. So we're going to bring that one in and then up there. And then the same thing on this side, we're going to bring it in and then up. So we have a nice little curve going on there. Now then we're going to decide how high we want it. We're just going to hold that in place. The Emily Carr trees tend to be very elongated so I like to have like a long trunk but you can make them any style you want. So the idea is just to do two together. We're just going to hold that, bend it down and then we're going to get our round pliers to form some of the branches. So we're just going to take this one, decide how wide you want it and bend it in. And then bring it here, bend it out. And then we're going to make that one a little longer. Let's give it a little bend, bring it back. And then we can bring this one in a little more. Bring that one back. And then this one hold together and then bring it up. So we have that side of the tree. Now we're going to flip it, line up the bottom, and then just get this in the same position as it was on that side, hold them together and then bend it down. So now we're going to get the round pliers again. You can make this side a little longer if you want. We're going to bring that one in. You can make these branches a little bit thinner and then actually do four of them instead of uh, three. Sometimes it's nice if it's a little bit asymmetrical. So we're going to bring that one in and then bring that one out and then in and then again out and then this one straight up here. And then what we want to do is just separate them. You can take them apart here. So now we're just going to adjust these down as you like. You can take your pliers. You can just bring the curve down a little bit if you like. And then we're going to take this end and then center it here, hold it in place and just twist it around so it's just secured and from there you're going to give it a little bit of a clip and you can take your flat pliers and just pinch it in a little bit. If you want you can push that down so it's hidden. Give it a little pinch. This one you're going to bend up more at a straight angle. You can put a bead on there if you want but if you don't want to put a bead on there, you can just give it a little clip, 3 8 to half an inch. Or if you have a long edge, you can wind it around. And we're just going to take our round pliers, bring this back and around to stick it in there, finish it off and just give it a pinch. Then you can just get an earring hook and just stick it on there, close it up, 
flip them over so one of them is mirror image and there you have your beautiful stylized tree earrings. There are many different styles you can do for this type of silhouette tree. I'm going to post in the Facebook event page the templates that you can use for this type of tree. After the 10 day challenge all the templates will be available in my Etsy DIY shop. I'll link them up in the description below. Now we can do a pine tree, sort of like a Christmas tree. I'll link up below where I did a tutorial on how to make the beaded Christmas tree earrings. And same idea, we're just going to take our flat pliers. These are the needle nose pliers. And I'm going to take these and just bend this up and then down. And then we're just gonna go up doing little sharp angles down. And you can keep it simple. Up, down, and then up, and then just do straight up like that. Now we'll do the other side, flip it over, line these up, hold this, and bend it in, out. Imagine this length is about a quarter inch unless you're making them bigger. Go in, out, in, out, and in. Then we're going to separate them, put one to the side. And as we did in the previous tree, just line this up. If you find it easier, just figure out where that little bend will be and then just put your round pliers there. This is a, one of my favorite hacks and then you just push it around to start the bend and then when you actually twist it it's not going to deform out of shape. So we're just going to do that. Give it a clip. Pinch it in. You can put a little accent bead at the top. This is a four millimeter miracle bead and then we're going to cut it to 3 8 to half an inch. Take your round pliers, hold that there, and just bend it back, twist it, so the end just kind of goes right in there. Pinch it flat, open up the hook, stick it on, and there you go. So there are the beautiful, simple Christmas tree earrings. And I'll link up below in the description the other tutorial on how to make them embellished with beads. Thanks so much for watching the video. Be sure to join the Facebook event page to join the 10 day wire tree making challenge. If you don't have Facebook, no problem. You can email me photos of your finished work at the end of the challenge. If you create all 10 challenges, you'll be eligible to win all kinds of great prizes from Beadalon and from my Etsy shop. Details are in the description below the video. Deadline to submit a photo of all 10 of your creations is December 14th, 2021. If the deadline has passed and you want to see what other people have created in the challenge, you can still have a look at the event page. Thank you everybody for participating and for your support of my tutorials. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to be notified when I post new videos and when I go live. And we'll see you the next time.